Now, with the latest developments in the world of medicine, this is Health Watch 3 with health reporter Chrissy Coyle. Each year, about 100,000 women with breast cancer will undergo a mastectomy. For those who elect reconstructive surgery, it can be a long, painful process. Now a remote control is actually changing that. When Michelle Stapleton found out she had breast cancer, the busy manicurist wasn't too worried at first. I was like, oh, I'll have a lumpectomy, it'll be no big deal. And then they said, no, the, the tumor was too large and that I'd have to have a mastectomy. As a precaution, the mother of two had both breasts removed. Her next step, reconstruction. But the process can often be long and painful. There's usually not enough skin to insert an implant, so doctors have to stretch the patient's tissue with an expander and inject saline into they it. They have to have a needle that's stuck through the skin, and sometimes that can cause some discomfort for patients. As part of a study, Michelle is trying out a new tissue expander using a remote control. It allows patients to expand their breast tissue at their own pace. I don't like needles. I don't like pain. And the fact that I can control what I do as far as how I expand was exciting to me. The remote control is placed against the expander. And instead of saline injections, carbon dioxide is released. And you press the button one time. And that's it. It's delivered a dose. Patients go from weekly visits and injections for several months to only having to come in twice and can be ready for breast implants in just weeks. You have control over it. That's the, that's the glory of it. Giving people like Michelle more time for what matters. This is Addison, who's five, and Avery, that's a lovely two-year-old. <laughs> and she, they keep me busy. Now, the study is actively recruiting all across the country for mastectomy patients planning to undergo breast reconstruction. For more information on the trial, just call the number right here on the bottom of your screen.